In this video, I'm taking you guys with me on my lunch date, but before we jump into that, I wanna share with you some new pieces that I've added to my wardrobe. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue where I have tons of fashion content. And if you love lifestyle content as well, you're in the right place. Be sure and check out some of my other videos. When you find something you like, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss a thing. So I am gonna take you guys with me on my lunch date, but before we jump into that, I wanna show you some of the new pieces that I picked up from Lily Silk. You guys know I do love a silk top, a silk button up shirt in particular because I love what they add to an outfit. This video is sponsored by Lily Silk and they have 100% Mulberry Silk products and they have a lot of silk products. If you're looking for pillowcases, um, sleeping masks, they have got you covered and they have a huge variety of clothing items to pick from that are 100% silk as well. And including this shirt that I'm wearing, this is a classic button up style shirt. It is slightly oversized and I love that. For a really relaxed, easy fit, then you guys are gonna love this as well. I have um, other pieces from Lily Silk that I have worn over and over and over and I love the, the way that these pieces add like a, a little bit of a luxury element to my outfit. I really love this sheen. As you can see, it definitely can dress things up, but I love that you can dress these pieces down. I mean, you can wear them super casual with just like sneakers and jeans. And it's just something really rich about a silk top. It just looks really rich and put together no matter if you're dressing it up or dressing it down. And with a silk top, you can just invest in that one top and then you can wear it so many ways. So I would say get a black, get a white, and then get a fun color or like a stripe. That's also a really great way to go. So I picked up a few pieces from Lily Silk. I got this lovely navy blue. It's like a midnight shade. I love it so much. It looks really, really good against my skin. And then I also picked up a white with a blue stripe, which is really nice. And it's really fresh and it's gonna pair really nicely with a lot of pieces that I already have. That's what I love about these silk tops. They go with just about anything and everything. Not only can I wear them with jeans and dress them casually, but if you're going into an office, these are perfect as well because you can definitely dress them with like slacks or dress pants and get an entirely different look. So I love pieces that I can um, change for different occasions. It's important to me to be able to have pieces in my closet that I can wear for multiple occasions. So while silk can dress up an outfit, you can definitely wear it very casually. So that's what I love. And along with the two tops that I got, I also picked up a couple of blazers. And you guys know if you watch my channel that I love blazers. They are a huge part of my wardrobe and they just make any look polished. They, blazers complete a look. And no matter if you're dressing them up for a special occasion or if you're wearing them every day into the office for a more um, business professional look or if you're dressing them down very casually with just sneakers. I love blazers, they're all year round and they will never go out of style. What I love about Lily Silk's blazers is that the lining is 100% mulberry silk, so it feels really comfortable against the skin. It's very breathable, and you can wear them um, with like a camisole underneath, and then the silk lining feels really good, so it's not gonna irritate your skin or anything like that. Lily Silk has so many products to choose from, so be sure to check the description box because I will have links to all the pieces that I've shared along with size information. And make sure you guys check out the silk pillowcases as well because I love to take those with me when I travel. I sleep with silk pillowcases um, every night and they're great for, um, you know, for your hair so it doesn't dry out your hair and it doesn't dry out your skin. I do love a good skincare regimen and cotton really just sucks out all the moisture out of your skin. So a silk pillowcase will not do that. So definitely check those out. And the silk pillowcases actually make really great gifts for men and women. I think men sometimes don't think about if they have facial hair, beards, or mustaches, um, they can also get dried out on cotton pillowcases. So if you have someone in your life or if you're thinking about gifting someone something, then check out Lily Silk because a lot of these pieces make really great gifts. Lily Silk products are zero waste. They use the fabric remains to make accessories like silk eye masks and scrunchies, and they collaborate with a company called TerraCycle. It's a world known recycling company committed to zero waste production. All the silk from Lily Silk's products are sourced from mulberry trees, which require less water than cotton to grow. All these silk products are very easy to take care of. Silk can be hand washed or machine washed. So be sure to check the description box because I will have links to all the pieces that I showed you guys along with size information. And now let's jump into the vlog. Hey guys, so I am headed out. 
I'm always to lunch with Brittany from Pockets and Bowls. We are going to Le Colonial, which I'm excited about because I've never been there. It's really cute, but I must be like the only person in Atlanta who hasn't been there. And I think actually Brittany's been there before as well. So we're going to check out Le Colonial. Um, it's kind of chilly outside, but not freezing. Atlanta all of a sudden had like a switch. It went from feeling like summer days to feeling like early winter. <laughs> That's what it feels like out there. So I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I decided to go with this button up shirt and a blazer, some jeans and boots. So let me just show you guys what I'm wearing. So here is the outfit. I'm wearing my button up Lily Silk navy blue top. I love the way this adds a nice sheen to any outfit. And then I just threw on a blazer with the gold buttons. This one has a nice, you know, it's a nice instructor, especially because I got the top um, pretty oversized. It, you know, adds a little bit of tailoring to the outfit. And then I'm wearing my Gucci belt. This one I actually haven't worn in a while. This one has the um, interlocking G's with the horse bit. And I actually like this one a lot more than the actual, like, Gucci Marmot jeans, you know, the other one that was like really popular. I like this one better. And then I'm wearing some high waist jeans. These are pretty new. And then my boots, you guys have seen these so many times. I've worn these boots a lot. They're like go-tos for me, very comfortable. And I have to make a stop at the mall. So they'll be perfect to walk around in. And that's it, that's the look. And then of course, me and Lolo, <laughs> Milo Eve Puzzle, she's coming with me. She looks really good with this outfit. And that's it, you guys. That is the outfit. So I'll check in with you guys um, either when I'm on the road or once I get there. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not going to be too much traffic. So we'll check in in a sec. Okay, so I'm almost there, you guys. Um, I'm about like five minutes away, but I got to park. And it seems that the sun is coming out. And I forgot my sunglasses. So I thought it was going to be cloudy. But it's all good because as soon as I park, I'm literally just walking into the restaurant. So it's no big deal. And I actually ended up getting here just like a little bit early, but it's okay because I think um, I think Brittany's going to be a little earlier than I anticipated as well. So I'll just go to the mall after we finish up lunch. I actually need to go to Phipps and Lennox, but I don't think I'm going to make it into Lennox today. I just don't feel like walking through a mall, even though Phipps is a mall too. Literally, it's just, it's like less stores, way less stores. So, when you know, the store that I need to go to is literally right as soon as I walk into the mall walking to Phipps. If I go to Lennox, I gotta walk through the mall and I just don't feel like that right now. So I don't know if I feel like it after lunch. Probably less likely. But um, yeah, so I'm almost there. Oh, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about makeup because I've been getting some requests about my makeup, like everyday makeup. The camera shifted a little bit, you guys, because I don't have a, um, I don't have a, a grip for it. So hopefully you guys, are, um, you'll be fine. <laughs> hopefully you guys will be fine. But anyway, I wanted to ask you guys about makeup because some people ask me in the comments about my makeup routine and they want to know like what I'm doing. My makeup routine is super simple. I'm not going to dedicate a whole video to it because, I mean, it's just kind of boring. So maybe I can incorporate it into another video if you guys really want to see it. But I really do super simple makeup. I even did like almost a full makeup um, like look of mine. Oh, let me fix y'all. Okay. There we go. So I almost did like, um, I pretty much did a full makeup routine in one of my other vlogs. I'll find that video and link it for you guys in the cards if you want to check it out. My routine is pretty simple. Now I'm actually trying a new um, foundation. I got the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I have that one right now, which is too light for me. I got to um, exchange it. I feel like it's just like a little bit too light for me. So I'm going to try one shade darker. But I also really love the Makeup Forever HD foundation powder. The liquid one that I was just talking about is the HD Skin Foundation. So... <sighs> and I can't really breathe through my nose because allergies are in full effect. I mean, like, pollen is in full effect, so my allergies are really, um, they're doing their thing right now. There was, like, a light dusting of pollen all over my car, like, right now in Georgia. Soon it's going to be, like, pollen everywhere, yellow all over the cars, which is really, really annoying, especially with Gizmo, because, you know, he goes outside and then he tracks pollen in the house. So... I'll have to make sure to keep him um, his hair cut really short. <laughs> Today he went to the groomer actually. When I dropped him off, they must have had a new person because usually they don't ask me. <laughs> oh damn, I'm supposed to turn right here. So usually they don't ask me what to do with him. They already know. So this time, um, the girl asked me what how I want the haircut to be, and I'm just like, oh, I just like it short, whatever, like that. And apparently they must have some new way to do it where they cut. Or maybe it's not new, but this is new to me where they cut the paws, um, the hair on the paws really, really short. Okay. So 
So anyway, they cut the hair on the paws really small, really short, and she called it chicken feet. I don't know why, but it was like, you know, really, really bald. And I told her no, because I thought it looked ugly, but I should have said yes, because this hair grows back so fast, and that'll help stop tracking the pollen so much, since I'm like, already having a struggle. <sighs> but anyway, let me know if y'all want, want more makeup and things like that, because my routine is very simple. Um, but I do need to update some things, like I need some new blush and um, a couple of lip glosses and things like that. So I keep my makeup pretty simple. All right, let me just drive and get there and I'll talk to you guys once I get there. Hey guys, okay, so we are at La Colonial. Brittany is here and you guys already know her. We met up in Nashville and I'm happy that we were able to connect yes. while she's here in Atlanta. I know I hit you up last minute, like, are you free? But I'm always down for like a cute lunch, so I was able to like, you know, move a couple things around. It's no big deal. She was like, oh, you mean just literally one day? That's yeah, what I said. She said, I'm just here for one day. I'm like, oh, let's go tomorrow. She was like, no, tonight or no, that's it. And so we made it happen. <laughs> But yes. we had such a good time last time, so I was excited exactly. to get together with her. Yes. So we're just going to check this place out. We thought it was French food, but it's Vietnamese. Yeah, I came here last time, and I lost all the blog footage. That was when I lost all my blog footage. And it was French, and it was amazing. Now it's Vietnamese. The whole menu looks we'll different, see. but they kept the name. Yeah. So I'm concerned. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll but see. I do like Vietnamese food, but let's see. I got one very specific thing. What you got? Oh, a lychee. It's really good. It's lychee marcy. Yeah, it's really good. It's good. How you doing? Hi. All right, guys. So we just finished up at La Colonial. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh... <laughs> maybe one too many uh, lychee martinis. Ooh. We just finished up at La Colonial. It was really good. Well, it was good. I didn't love my salad, but it was okay. The drinks were really good. The lychee martinis were delicious. Amazing. And we had a good time there. So now we're gonna check out Jimmy Choo. See what's going on over there. We want to go to the real real if it's close enough to walk to. Yeah, I think so, it is. It's three minutes. That's okay, so we'll check that out. But let's go to Jimmy Choo and see what's going on. And that's what I need, just like a simple black shirt. I don't have the size, I kind of, oh, I don't have it in this size. I have the ballet pink if you just want to try it on. Mm -hmm. If it works for you, of course we can always track it down from another yeah. store. Is that what's in here, the pink? Yeah, it's okay. the ballet pink. And that's, which what, is I, that's what, what I try like, on. Though, that is what I want, but that's is, not what I need. Sure. What I need is the black. Barely. Yeah. Because if you love that. Voila. Oh, let me try it. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant. Down. When you said pink, I don't know why I assumed it was a neon. Let me show oh, you. Oh, no, no. No, yeah, this yeah. is what they oh call the nude or so belly pink, is yeah. what they say. Okay. Hi. Alright, welcome to the real room where everything is real. Thank you. They say you say that. No, I came over here just when you guys said, no, it's all good. All good. So the whole past me is too expensive. I'll put you on my vlog. Oh, dang. Pretty. I looked at these. I thought that they were rubber, but they're leather. They're rubber? I thought that they were rubber, but they're leather. They are leather. Wow. Well, they, need but they to look like rubber, right? Well, of course, yeah. But I was, I just, they look rubber to me. <laughs> I like, I want, like, I like the Prada ones even better. I do like those. I think they're cute. But it's just something about the scribble scrabble that makes it that much worse. I was once obsessed with this. Me too. Yeah. I still think it's a good I one. I feel like I would even buy this just to have it for a yeah. moment. I think it's fun too. 2800. I think it's fun. It's like I wouldn't even, it's not my vibe, but it's so, it's a moment. I feel like maybe like if you had it, you might pull out one random day. Oh, that's cute. It's mm -hmm. gonna be filthy though. Definitely. I guess you could scotch guard it. <laughs> like a couch. <laughs> exactly. I did a white blazer once. Oh, that's not bad at all. Mm. Should I Would you be it? wearing this in the summer? Or what are you gonna? Nah, it'll be winter. I don't know. I just probably, you I just never be know. having Sometimes... stuff for collectors. <laughs> right. And for the random time, I feel like for a bag, it could be, it still could be fun in the summer. Mm -hmm. I guess it depends. Cause I'm, I, I like the option, even though I prefer a top handle, I like the option of having 
Pro- like I got my yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I keep it in the bag, mm-hmm. but it's cute. Every every all of these bags have their place. I used to be obsessed with this too, but so I'm over cute. it. I'm actually I had over that it. when I was a kid. Actually, <laughs> it looks like a kid's bag. It is. I'm I into these. Yeah, I, I like think the they're cute. Room. Three thousand? Three thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. I used to love this bag too, but I think that one looks heavy. Yeah, but it, it wasn't that heavy. color. Yeah. But they have that one with a different color F's all over it too, right? I feel like I saw someone yeah, with different color F's. See, I always love red. I got one little. <laughs> she said no. Not for old. I have one little red bag. Mhm. But I I love red, but I never feel like it looks good on me. Even yeah. Though, I'm like that too. I'm like, like that with blue. red and blue. Um, I have my red Balenciaga bag. Mhm. It's the one with the Balenciaga written on it. Do you I, wear it? Do you wear it often? I use. Yeah, I pull it out when I need a red bag. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, so I am back home. I had a really great time with Brittany. We went to Le Colonial, and I loved the drinks and the dessert. My meal, I wasn't that thrilled about. I liked it. The flavor was good. Like, the flavors of my meal was good, but the steak that I had, it was chewy. So I didn't like that, but overall, it was like steak on a salad. Um, It was called, like, shaken steak, something like that, or shaken salad, something like that. It was really good as far as the flavor, but the steak was chewy. Brittany got um, like pot stickers, like dumplings. She said they were really good and they did look good. I didn't try it, but I usually do like dumplings. So I'm not surprised if they were good. And then we had lychee martinis. They are delicious, you guys. I love the lychee martinis. They were so good. They weren't too sweet. They had like a little bit of tartness and they were just really good. And the bartender or the waiter that we had told us that they actually puree the lychees to make the drink. So it's not like some weird syrup or a natural flavor. So it's really good. And I find that drinks made from like the actual puree of the fruit or whatever it is that they're using it usually tends to taste better. So I really like that one. And then after we ate, we talked, we laughed, we went to um, Jimmy Choo because if you guys don't know, or maybe you do know, um, Buckhead Village is where the restaurant is. So they have shops all around, like high-end shops. There's a Dior, which we also went into. We went to the Real Real. First stop was Jimmy Choo. And I tried on a pair of shoes that I thought I was going to be obsessed with because I tried on the pink ones, and I know I really love the pink satin ones. But I am in need of a regular black pair of shoes, like a plain pair of shoes. And those Jimmy Choo shoes are pretty iconic. They're classic, and they've been around a really long time. So I figured I would love them. Now, they didn't have the black patent leather in my size in the store, so I just tried on the nude color that they had, and I was kind of underwhelmed, only because I don't know if it had been tried on many times, I'm not sure, but it wasn't, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be, and I don't know, maybe it was just the color that I wasn't that excited about, and I just really wanted to try on the black patent leather, so they didn't have it, so I'm going to try them on um, another time, but I still do like the shoe, the design, and the heel height is perfect. In the 95 millimeter, it is so comfortable, but it still looks high, and I really like that about them. So we'll see. I'll definitely try on the black patent leather and let you guys know what happens. If I end up with them, of course, I'm gonna style them like crazy. And after that, we decided to go over to Dior. I wanted to see the mini Lady Dior in orange patent. It's brand new, and it looks so good online. I've seen photos, I've seen it in video, and it looks so gorgeous. So we went inside the store to see if we could just see what it looks like. And they didn't have the orange one. She said um, one of the sales associates told us that it sold out immediately. Like literally the same day it came in, it sold. So we looked at some of the others and they had a really beautiful blue. It was gorgeous. It looks like candy. I love all those colors. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So I would love to have that orange one. Honestly, any color I would love to have because they're all so beautiful. So it's kind of... Like the, it's the kind of bag that I feel like you could have multiple colors in, you know what I mean? So that was gorgeous. And then we checked out the real, real. We also went to Louboutin, but, um, it was kind of a fail. There was nothing there. And then, well, that we were interested in. And then we went to the real, real. And that was my first time at the real, real at Buckhead Village. Um, it's pretty new and I was underwhelmed, you guys. Now it is still, I think being completed because they have an upstairs level, but it was empty. So I'm assuming they're going to expand. I really don't know. So I guess we'll see. But um, because it is a consignment shop, you know what I mean? I'm sure they have a turnover and you have to go often to see what they have available. So um, when we were in at that time, there wasn't anything really that I wanted that I saw. So I'll have to keep checking back. There was this one cute trench. 
um, that I was surprised that I liked. I'm actually going to look online to see if they have it online as well, but it was really cute. Um, and that's really it. And then after that, I needed to run into the mall. So I decided to go to Phipps Plaza. I ran into the mall and while I was in the mall, I saw these cute little orange sandals. So I tried them on. I figured there'll be a nice like little fun sandal for the summer. I ended up leaving them, but I did want to try them on because they were super cute and they had them in other colors as well. So I will link them for you guys in the description box in case you're looking for a fun, like strappy summer sandal. So that's it, you guys. Make sure to check the description box for all the Lily Silk pieces that I shared with you guys in this video. I will have links and size information for you. And make sure you guys check out Brittany's channel as well, Pockets and Bowls. I will have it listed in the description box. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Be sure to check me out on some of my other platforms. I'll have my Instagram along with my other socials listed in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.